Inspire. Instruct and innovate. With me here, Belinda Adika. Welcome to Active Television Network. And this is Active Hub. We inspire, instruct and innovate. And today I'm your host, Belinda Adika. And we are talking about startups and challenges. Everybody in business, they have their face challenges and get away. And now they are doing well in the field. You can always catch us live at Active Television Network, Pale YouTube, na Facebook. And today we are having an amazing guest, a beautiful woman. She is saved and she is here doing a business, many doing many businesses. And Karibu Sana, listen to her. You can learn a lot. You can understand the challenges she faced. Siati aliamuka tunakujipata penye yako. Ni mengi amepetia. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kila siku, anytime we are on air, utatupata at 11 a.m. Thursday. Good morning. Good morning, madam. How are you? I'm good. Karibu sana Active Television Network. Yes. Today we are blessed to have you here. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Can you tell us something about yourself? Okay. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for your invitation. Karibu to sana. Your, to your TV channel. Yes. And um, I want to say that I'm humbled. To, to be given this opportunity because not everybody can have this, that, uh, this opportunity. Yes. I'm so grateful. My name is um, Rachel Kimboy. I'm, um, I'm married. I'm a mother of three beautiful girls. And um, I love the Lord because of the far that I've reached. Yes. As you have, you've heard, and I to Rachel, she is a mother of three beautiful girls, and she is married. She is safe, and we thank God. Yes. Madam, can you tell us what you do? Yeah, I, um, let's say I'm a jack of all trades. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm employed, yes. and I'm a business person, mm -hmm. and I just, um, juggle all this mm -hmm. and at the end of the day mm -hmm. i just thank god for giving me that strength mm -hmm. so i'm a teacher by profession i teach at um, italian national polytechnic and um, also i'm a business woman mm -hmm. i have a beauty salon in Kinozi. Mm -hmm. and again on top of that i just have a new baby on my line uh, uh, another beauty shop, but uh, I sell uh, clothes, and the name of my business is, uh, for the salon, the first that uh, brought me to this, where, where I am today, is Jamra Salon and Kinyozi. It is located around um, the junction of Kitale Kapenguria. Just around uh, Kitale District Hospital, mm -hmm. just on that uh, roundabout, yes. and um, I'm I'm located at Lions Plaza. That's where my salon is. It's called Jamra Salon and Kinyozi. And then uh, the next uh, business that I do, I recently opened a, a boutique. It's called. Jamra collection. I decided to maintain that name because it's a it's a I, it's a brand, and I'm um, selling uh, new clothes, shoes, and uh, um, a few cosmetic items. And uh, I decided to continue using that name because that is my name. It's an acronym where I combined uh, the names of my husband and my name. My name is Rachel. Uh, Rachel and my husband is called James. So I decided to pick on the first two names, mm -hmm. two, two letters. Mm -hmm. Mine and for my husband is James, so I picked on the three letters because he's the, the husband of the house and the, 
the main man. Mm -hmm. So I decided his uh, acronym starts and then mine finishes. So it's a combination, the combination of two names, it's uh, James and Rachel, mm -hmm. uh, and then it, it became Jamra. So I decided to continue do, doing that. And uh, I thought whenever I open another business or I do something else, I should continue using that name because it's already a brand in Yeah. Oh, I like that. As to Meskia, there is a brand name called Jamra. So if you go anywhere na una, una soma mahali kumendi kwa Jamra, kindly visit her and say hi and just collect anything that is there. So, Rachel, you say that you are a teacher. Can you say something about that profession? Okay. And why only talk out more? Okay, let me do some business kidogo. Okay. Before I came into doing business, mm -hmm. I was once a small girl. Mm -hmm. I was raised by um, a single mother, mm -hmm. but not single by choice. Mm -hmm. We lost our father when I was around seven years. Mm -hmm. And my so, mother really worked hard to mm -hmm take us through school. Mm -hmm. So I did do beauty as in as a ma as a major when I when I grew up. Yes. I finished my high school. Mm -hmm. I went to college and Lorette Polytechnic. Yes. I did business administration. Mm -hmm. And then after that uh, I went to Kisi University. I did Bachelor of Bachelor of Commerce mm -hmm. and then I also went to uh, Kenya Technical Trainers Institute in Nairobi, mm -hmm. where I did uh, technical education. Mm -hmm. So that is what made me to become a teacher. Mm -hmm. But all along I had this passion of uh, making hair. Mm -hmm. And um, I started it, I started uh, being, uh, loving uh, the art of making hair when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I used to have a desk mate mm -hmm. who, um, when, we, when we were almost closing school, there's that, um, that uh, week where we are waiting for our report cards mm -hmm. and people would go behind the classes or even behind the dormitories and they start making people's hair. Mm -hmm. So I got that interest and because we were all, uh, every other time we were together, mm -hmm. I would lo I loved uh, seeing what she was doing because she, she was telling me that her mother used to have a salon in, mm -hmm. uh, in Nairobi. So she, she used to help her mother. So I developed that interest. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I've not been, I never went to any beauty uh, school. Mm -hmm. the, I developed that um, as a passion and, and, and I started uh, knowing the art of making hair mm -hmm. by then, by just looking at what they used to do, what she used to do. Mm -hmm. And then when I come for my holiday lessons, for my holiday, uh, no, when I, come, I came home for, for, for holiday, I used to now um, try to do what she was doing mm -hmm. uh, on my sister's hair. And eventually, I, I grew every other holiday, I do it, and I'm, I'm perfecting it every other holiday I come home. And then I just do that. But uh, what I trained to do is uh, a teacher. And when I tell people that I'm in Italian National Polytechnic as a teacher, mm -hmm. they, they, they normally think that I'm a, a beauty. I, I teach uh, in that line of beauty. Mm -hmm. But I do, I do teach business courses. Mm -hmm. um, at Kitale National Polytechnic, mm -hmm. yeah. So business just came in when I now had that. Uh, it, it just grew up, I just grew doing that. And after some time, it became, I think I realized this is my talent. Mm -hmm. And then when you, uh, after college, when you're still hustling, mm -hmm. I decided to visit uh, my friends who used to make hair. I go to their salon, mm -hmm. I learn one, two, three. Uh, for us ladies, something like blow dry, not to be a match or two, mm -hmm. and then others, Nanza Kujifunza, Pole Pole. And that is how I came to like doing business. So when I started tamaking, I decided, can I just try this? Mm -hmm. And that is how I got into business. And I love doing what I love doing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you mean, okay, what you are trying to say is your friend inspired you? Yes, my friend, she's called Harriet Kabere, mm -hmm. uh, way in high school. But we lost touch because of major high school, na college, and every other thing, marriage, to Kapote Liana. But wherever she is, she did something in my life. Big ups to her. Yeah. So, okay, I'm trying to think that you are a teacher and you have a salon. Yes. 
So what time are you in class and what time are you in the salon? I just can't go because the work I do is uh, flexible because uh, teaching in college is uh, a bit different from teaching like in high school or in, in primary school. Mm -hmm. Because in college, you mostly go to classes when you have your lessons. At times you may have your timetable uh, uh, schedule is not that tight. Mm -hmm. You may be having lessons uh, the whole morning and then maybe the whole afternoon, you're free. And then again, over the weekends, because it's within Kitale, mm -hmm. I, we don't go to, to school. So that is the time that I normally use. Mm -hmm. And over the holiday, because we always break for, after every three months, we are having a holiday. So those are the times that I normally engage so much in my business, because I have um, enough time to do. And I don't like, uh, I, I decided to open a business around uh, Kitale because it's my home and it's where I can access like now my job because my job is uh, I came to get I got the job after at that period of Tamaki and already had started this business so I told myself I'm not closer just because I got a, a, a contract I'll continue uh, juggling the two and for me it's just working out perfect because when I'm not there I have people who are working for me uh, at least in my my salon, I have uh, around two. Uh, 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 somebody is doing for me the kinyozi part, and, and one lady who is helping me in the, in the salon. But majority of the work I do, I do everything in the salon because I I know everything. I do make hair. I make. Uh, I do um, things like uh, I play, I do plate hair. I do chemical application and the rest that are done in the salon. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm grateful because I have that talent. So when she's not even around or when I'm free, I just do. If a, a client comes, I'm just ready to do because I do everything that I do. Thank you. Okay, keep on tuning in. Okay, at Active Television Network, subscribe to our channel, send in your questions. As Madam is answering to our questions. She's talking about the salon because that is the first business. Okay, so I'm trying to ask what set you apart from other, from other members? Yes. For me, I think I'm different because uh, uh, for me it's a gift that I think uh, God gave me. Because for others, maybe they went to uh, those beauty schools, they learned a lot uh, when they went to those schools. But for me, I've never stepped to, uh, into any uh, college of beauty, but I'm doing it uh, even more, uh, I'm doing it perfect than even those who have gone to that, uh, that, that school, uh, those schools, uh, those colleges. And one thing that uh, is keeping me uh, at least um, different from others is that this is a passion. I developed it and, and now I realize that maybe that is what God wanted me to do because it's like a, a gift, free, freely given. I never maybe worked for it. I never went to school to get that. And that is what makes me different from them. Yes. I like that. And as you are starting the, the salon, yes. what capital did you need to start up? Yeah, at first, because I was still st uh, still Tamaki, mm -hmm. I got um, support from friends, mm -hmm. and support from f uh, family, and I am so grateful for them because they are the ones who have made me to move from one level to another. After college, you realize that you don't have even a shilling because at our during our time, we never even had uh, these things. Uh, these are. Uh, this uh, capitation from the government or even help loan. So there's nothing you could say. Whatever your parent was giving you was uh, just uh, that little and you just maybe spend in college or in school. After that, you're just like broke and you don't have a job, you don't have anything. But before I started um, the salon, I got a, what you call a uh, kibarua in Kenya's company because when I was in college I did my attachments there. So basically I saved uh, something small and then uh, on top of that I got friends 
one of them is my now my husband and then from my mother and uh, that is the little that I used to start that business and uh, what made me not uh, to continue maybe working in Kenya Seed is because uh, Kenya Seed uh, you are employed on casual terms and after every three months you are laid off so uh, because of that period where you are expected to uh, to come back I decided I'm not coming back again. Let me start doing business as I'm looking for other jobs. Because you, it's like it, it keeps you, it, it wastes your, it, it really wastes your time because you're always waiting for three months and then you break for like five months or six months and then come again for three months. I decided let me use my small gift to start a business. So that is how I started my business. And then later on now, I, I came to get this job that I'm doing now. Oh, how long did it did you take to break even? I'm not uh, for the first uh, maybe one year I was really struggling because you uh, people have not known your work. People are like still testing what you have. When I was starting, I started my business around 2005. But uh, at that point, people are not um, so uh, enthusiastic in things to do with beauty. So uh, the few customers you are getting, you are really struggling. But with time, people knew that you are doing something good. And by around three years, two, three years, I was just now stable. Yeah. OK. Yeah. What are the challenges? And how you may manage it yeah. since you started? Challenge kwa biashara iko. Ni kama tu challenge ya maisha. Why am I saying so? Because in business, people are like um, skeptical on the work you are doing. Mm -hmm. Like for us ladies, we are, we are very choosy and very picky because a lady would want to go to a, a shop that is known, mm -hmm. a shop that has a name, mm -hmm. a shop that um, has a, what we call sifa. Mm -hmm. But you're just starting, nobody knows you, you're, uh, you're trying to maybe um, reach out to people. So at some point when you are starting, you want to give up. But you tell yourself, this is what I wanted to do. And then you love it. So why stop on the way? So if you get a few, two, you get one customer, you get another one, like for salon, mm -hmm. you can even make somebody's hair. And then midway, wacha tutumie kiswahili. Mwefika kichwa katikati. Clients anakuambia, si kutaka hivyo. So if you're somebody who is... Uh, uh, who is not okay. like serious with your work. Mm -hmm. You live in uh, Mbomo, mm -hmm. like, and you undo the hair, mm -hmm. and then you tell the customer where mm -hmm. But because you want to do it, and you, it, you, 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 you are ready to be corrected and to move on, mm -hmm. you'll, say, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll try to convince the, the client mm -hmm. to accept that you repeat the work, mm -hmm. or you do something else that is uh, you're comfortable with. But with the time, there are customers who understand you, mm -hmm. and they give you another chance. Mm -hmm. And then um, at times, maybe you make somebody's hair, mm -hmm. and uh, they are not, they are not satisfied. Mm -hmm. They go and preach the bad gospel about you. Mm -hmm. So those are the challenges that are there. Mm -hmm. But in one way or the other, you have to continue going, uh, going forward because that is what you love to do. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, doing hair is my passion. I just love it. So, after we keep at a challenge, we are going to do it. Yeah, that's your mission. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. As you are listening to Madam Rachel, she has a beautiful story and how she has undergone the challenges. We will be back shortly. Keep on tuning in. <laughs> Welcome back again. Thank you for tuning in at Active Television Network. Keep on subscribing. Share, send, continue sending your opinions and questions. And as you are going through, we still have the madam here. As you've heard, she has a beautiful, beautiful story. And she can inspire you at Aneza Kwa, your mentor. And madam, you've been saying you are not young. 
Sasa hapo tunashindwa. Okay. You are not young. How? Can you say something about that? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm proud of uh, being me. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said I'm not young. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, I forgot to say my age. Mm -hmm. um, at this, uh, uh, this year, I'm 45 years of age. Mm -hmm. Uh, I told you that I'm a mother of three. My firstborn daughter just did um, her high school uh, KCC. Oh, wow. So, uh, and not, and I, it's not that I maybe got her when I was in high school or, or maybe primary school, no. I finished my college in Edward Poly. I tarmacked for around two years, and then that is why we decided to move in with my now husband and I got my firstborn child. So I'm that old. And I'm proud of that age. Um, for me, I normally say age is just but a number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how you take it is how it will, uh, it will uh, move you. So if you count so much, mm -hmm. uh, it will make even you look so old. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'm proud to be a, of that age. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thanking God because uh, the family, quite many later, uh, yeah. So, CC as active television network and everybody. Tunataka iyo siku tuimbe happy birthday. Yes. Nilini ama ime Peter. Oh, ime Peter. It was in February 28th. Wow. I think I even uh, uh, posted uh, in my Facebook uh, page when I turned 45. Wow. Yeah, because 45 for me is a very big number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very, it's a milestone in my life, mm -hmm. and uh, I was waiting for that forty-five mm -hmm. to now give the full um, number of my years, uh -huh. because all along we can say matu ni me add one year, mm -hmm. but really, people are saying 25, 21 years forever. Mm -hmm. But for me, niluwa na ngoji hiki forty-five, yeah, uh, and um, yeah, I celebrated in February mm -hmm. twenty-eighth, and I uploaded it in my Facebook page. So Nigeria. Oh, okay, you will say that you must care that my life begins at, at 40. 40 years. So, we finish at 5 years. <laughs> we so, say congratulations. Thank you so much. And I'm God so bless you. To get you back, I need to let you go. Let you go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rachel. Happy birthday to you. Okay, as Active Television Network next year, uh -huh. February, yes. we must sing the full song. Yes. Ata ya pibaku day song to take us, dream us, tell us, manini. Kabisa, kabisa. Siku elefu. Yes, I'll even uh, let you know in advance. Mm -hmm. And then taleta cake. Wow. Thank you very much. Yes. Sasa appetite me raise. Sasa atuoni ikifika feb. Yeah, itafika. Okay. okay. Uh, tukiendelea, tukiendelea. You said you are married. Yes. Okay, you are a teacher. Mm -hmm. You run businesses. Yes. How do you balance them? Sababu sayi unafau kwe mama nyumbani kabisa. Unafau kwe kwa kazi. Ama how do you, yani umezieka? I do do it, yes. How I do it is just God. I am one person. Yeah, it's not easy. I'm one person who sleeps very late into the night. Me baka us baka usingi zire mzoya ikudangi area than sasita. Because even ata saizi I'm I'm trying I'm trying to I'm seeing it in a quite easier. There's a time I enrolled for my for my degree. I was in class. At uh, the same time, I was pregnant, mm -hmm. and I had a, uh, I had a, a small child at home. Mm -hmm. I have a husband. I have a business. Mm -hmm. It was hectic. But as a, at some point, you know, the strength in Akuja too, because the only unambia mu. What I normally tell God every every evening, thank you, Lord, for having me, given me this opportunity mm -hmm. to 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 do what you want me to do on this day. And then in the morning, I tell God, Sitaki kuomba. Nataka unipe nguvu. Ni amuke, ni tumie mikono yangu. 
niweze ni kulisha familia yangu na niweze kuwapa chenye ulinipa kwa sababu ni kazi ulinipa and at the same time when you're doing that unapata tu nguvu inakuja from nowhere you wake up in the morning you're supposed to prepare children to go to school you have a husband you have to go to their business if it's a day that I, I'm not going to classes but if it's a day that I'm going to classes I prepare like any um, any other person who's going to work because teaching is um, uh, a very tough profession you have to prepare in advance what you're going to do in the following day according to your timetable so who have been apanga my lesson notes everything that is required for the, that very day so ninajua if if it's carrying books or even carrying my my laptop mm -hmm. i prepare content uh, depending on the, the 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 lessons that i'm supposed to do mm -hmm. and again when you are preparing for those lessons mm -hmm. you have to prepare children because they are going to school tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, at some point when they grew up wali nipongozia kazi because you just tell them enda oga kuja panga uniform maybe kazi yenye nabaki tu nikupasia wa nguo and then uh, at some point pale nyuma when they were still young i had a house mm -hmm. but ikafika mahali vile wali grow mm -hmm. i didn't see the need of having a house girl to go on to make up to manza kwa kubwa so si wakubwa sana the smallest is 9 years old mm -hmm. yes na si ati nasema ati nine uh, year my last born mm -hmm. unajua when you are still uh, young and active mm -hmm. you cannot say umefunga ku ku uza I think I that is the African the African way. Uh -huh. Unasema for me huwa namuita my my acting last ball. Mm -hmm. Because uh, unaweza kuwa ume, ume, umetangaza mpaka kwa radio <laughs> that I'm done. Uh -huh. And uh, inafanyika tu. Mm -hmm. So currently she's acting mm -hmm. but she's 9 years old. Wow. Yeah. And then again when it comes to doing your housework I normally when I don't have a house help I normally sleep very late mm -hmm. I do cleaning mm -hmm. I I even clean uh, utensils I clean the house mm -hmm. and then in the morning very early in the morning I maybe uh, do some little washing laundry mm -hmm. so that nipunguze mm kazi -hmm. and then ikitoka shule mm -hmm. when I don't have maybe lessons past that time who mm -hmm. to straight to my shop mm -hmm. that is where now na kupumzika kama ni ku have kama nimekuja mapema before lunch that is where i come and take my lunch because i normally say ni kika huko kuna client anza kuja and i can even get transport for the whole week so why waste my time there when i don't have classes and i'm done for my day instead of kupiga my story i so for me i operate like uh, almost more than 12 hours kwa maisha all through and then wakati i was in college ilikuwa nasoma na maliza kazi ya nyumba naanza kusoma nimekwambia at some point ndio kwa expected nilikuwa na mwaga cushion chini and then anyorosha mimi nasomea mtiani and i passed siezi complain mungu ni nani so uki, uki, i think um hiyo kazi kazi yenye mtu anasema ni kazi it's just mental ukipanga inakuja tu yenyewe na flow and then god akikupa tu strength mm -hmm. akuna siku utasema nimechoka because for me mimi hata sijui siku gani napumzika mm -hmm. na kuanga kazi monday maybe to thursday mm -hmm. at some, some some days fridays i'm free mm -hmm. or sometimes niko na classes mm -hmm. and then over the weekend i have bookings mm -hmm. yeah so when i have bookings kwa show mm -hmm. i have to attend to them mm -hmm. nimaliza kazi yangu haraka nyumbani i come to my show mm -hmm. sometimes you even have bookings on sunday mm -hmm. Uh, Sundays especially after church unapata mtu anakwambia I'll not get time during the week but can you schedule me for uh, at in, even at three on Sunday and then again uh, this pandemic ikakuja ikatupea Sundays mingi ikakuwa free so ikakuwa to like a normal working day though you do your one to three in the morning by around afternoon umekula lunch you come but uh, for me mi wana kazi mingi kazi mingi tunaipanga kwa kichwa mm -hmm. yes and i'm um, thanking god for this talent because mm -hmm. <clears throat> imenipa nguvu mingi hata kushinda i think if i would just be a teacher i would be the laziest because ningekuwa <laughs> nalala tu mm -hmm. i have nothing else nikisha panga time table yangu mm -hmm. so for me napanga time table yangu napanga my lesson notes and everything mm -hmm. 
mpaka nipase nguo because nikiamka asubuhi mm -hmm. na nitafute nguo mm -hmm. sitatoka kwa hiyo nyumba so ni napanga 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 viatu najua na vali na vali mm -hmm. Yani ilisha, nilisha program tu kazi yangu. Mm -hmm. So I find it very easy because nilisha zoea. Mm -hmm. And I'm one person who yes, kwa mi na usingizi. So I don't know kama yu usingizi ita nidai when I'm old. But I'm hoping ita, ita nidai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me what I can just say is that even one hour that you are free. Yes. You just send ata kama usingizi ita kuja we lala tu. <laughs> <laughs> na ubeseta ala then wow. Oh, okay. okay yes. <laughs> okay. Madam Rachel. Yes. Okay, according to Salon, Salon ni mekujai ka kuwa kubwa, ndo yoi ka kujai me give birth to something. How is the, how is it picking on? Yeah, uh, I told you it on a Salon, mm -hmm. and the Salon has given birth to a new baby, mm -hmm. uh, that is Jamra Collection. Mm -hmm. And I said Jamra Collection is, is uh, located in, around Kitale District Hospital, yes. at Michuki Plaza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is where I am currently. But uh, I have people who uh, are doing that for me because uh, when I'm in school, <coughs> I, 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 when you cannot do everything, yes. but you have to get people to assist you. Mm -hmm. And uh, by so doing, at least somebody gets to, uh, to earn something from there. So currently, I think I'm, I'm an employer. Because uh, when you are, um, when you are, when you are doing your business, what you need to do is to try and save mm -hmm. and uh, continue uh, thinking or even thinking of ways of diversifying. So for me, Jamra Collection is my new, the, the new line that I'm starting, I started. I thought of diversifying because uh, there's the, the, the salon, the beauty, uh, the collection, the Jamra Collection, um, for me it's not um, very intense because I don't, uh, Mostly it's talking to customers, explaining to them, or even giving them those uh, items to, to, uh, to maybe uh, have a feel of it. So uh, it's not like the salon, because the salon is very intense, you use a lot of energy, and you're supposed to be there all the time. But for this, I make orders. I've, I went to, when I, I go, I went to, my first uh, time going to buy these things, I went to, to get uh, connections. So that when I don't have enough money to travel to Nairobi and bring the stock, mm -hmm. I can maybe send by M-Pesa and then mm -hmm. we have these courier mm -hmm. services, they bring the, the goods to me. Mm -hmm. So it is very easy for me to operate the, co the cosmetic, mm -hmm. the, co the collection, the genre collection, mm -hmm. when I combine with the salon. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the salon has really built me because uh, it gave me more uh, ideas to, to, to do. I started just with a salon, and then eventually I got a new, a bigger house. I decided to do uh, to in, uh, incorporate a kinyozi. And within the same salon, I have a, a small shop where I, I sell cosmetics. Yeah. Because a customer may want to, you may make your customers here, and then anakwambia mama futa ya kupaka. So I, I, I saw an, another opportunity there. So, and then I, I, I started selling small, small things, shoes, sneakers, and that is how it has made me to grow. And again, <clears throat> when you are um, disciplined in business, you'll go far. And also, when you are talking about um, uh, utilizing whatever potential that you have, I normally see that God will bless the work of your hands. And people take blessing the work of your hands in, uh, in the form of that physical hand. No. Uh, if you have a skill that you can use, you can uh, manipulate things and work for you. That is a gift. That is the work of your hand. Because kwa mtu kama mtu wa raj, kazi yake ni kutumia mkono. Kwa mtu wa salon, anatumia pia mkono. But mtu mwenye anajio manene ya computer, you can uh, come up with an application, a software application. Uh, kuna ule mtu aneza entertain mtu. Ajitumia mkono, sidiyo? Anatumia kipawa nyalipea. So kila mtu alipea wayo kipawa kama kazi ya mkono ya. So if you identify that particular gift that you have, that gift will make you be a person in the society. Because pale nyuma hakuna mtu angekujua. So I just thank God for that. Yeah. Okay, as we are winding up, it's uh, COVID. 
yani the COVID has taken place yani. So according to business, your business personally, how have you sustained it? Na mesha sigani umechukua? Yes. Uh, initially, COVID really um, worked against us. Chwezi sema atu, it was a walk in the park. We had challenges at first uh, because uh, the first areas that were locked down uh, in terms of business were entertainment mm -hmm. and the uh, beauty shops. Mm -hmm. You remember even there's a time that they decided Kinyozi and Saloon will not operate because you are you are yeah, you, you are expected to do what we call social distancing. Yeah. But uh, when you are making somebody's here, how can you social distance for it? Uh, for it? So they locked down our businesses for almost two months. Mm -hmm. in the first, the first hitting of Corona that was last year. Mm -hmm. But at some point, they allowed us to do. You wear a mask. Your client wears a mask, mm -hmm. and you make sure that you have a sanitizer. You have maybe a soap and, and uh, water to wash their hands, mm -hmm. and also maintain the environment to be clean. Mm -hmm. We know we, 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 we used to clean our maybe the team, the, the items that we are use, using the chairs, the mirror, we sanitize even the mirror by maybe spraying uh, these, uh, what do you call, dental and the rest, mm -hmm. so that we ensure that the place is very clean. But at some point, uh, initially people uh, never used to come to the salon, mm -hmm. but because um, it's just God. Mm -hmm. When you, when I say you, when you are in doing business, you have to ensure that. Mm -hmm. So if you have your kidogo, it will sustain, you can even uh, talk to the landlord and then if or two. So by the time they were opening a, a space for to, for businesses like uh, Kinyozi and Salon to come back, to look at me struggle, yes, but at some point to capic. And then after uh, that period, they allowed us to come back to, to do their business fully now, but uh, taking precautions on... Uh, on uh, this uh, issue of uh, Corona, mm -hmm. what uh, what uh, what happened to me? For me, I, I I came to realize that Corona was a blessing in disguise, mm -hmm. because I never expected that uh, at any given point uh, my business will grow mm -hmm. to this level. Na to make one Corona, because it's it's within a uh, Corona period that I grew my my salon. Mm -hmm. It can expand. Mm -hmm. I even uh, made that small shop. And then it's within still this corona period that I, 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 I opened this new shop. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know, it's just God. Mm -hmm. And um, despite all these challenges, mm -hmm. I normally say that I never give up. Because uh, it, corona is, like they are telling us, corona is there to stay. Mm -hmm. So if you don't uh, find a way of working around that, mm -hmm. you will just be kicked out of business. So what you need to do is, uh, Mostly, uh, whatever you get, save, mm -hmm. and uh, the clients you have to approach them in a manner that mm -hmm. will give them more confidence to come to your shop, mm -hmm. or even to continue doing business with you. Because me, for me, I have what uh, I have. Uh, what is keeping me is my loyal customers. Yes. I have very good customers, those who are loyal. Mm -hmm. When I'm not even in, uh, at my business, at an end, madam, when are you free? I can even reschedule. My, my appointment with you. Mm -hmm. So it has really made, given me extra energy because if somebody can really even wait for you mm -hmm. for a week, yes. maybe I mean, I'm doing my work from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think it's very important to have a solution in place to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. And God will bless you. As we are winding up, Madam, just say something, just a parting shot. Talk to people outside there, just tell them something small, encourage them, and tell them to get up. Yeah. <laughs> so for all the people uh, who are aspiring to be business persons, especially the young generation, I believe and working uh, using your hands using your 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 skill or your hand or your your intelligence mm -hmm. to get money rather than ra running to to be employed mm -hmm. in as much as i'm being employed mm -hmm. but i'm not finding that comfort in being employed because at some point 
you will be forced to work against uh, under so many rules. But being in business, you are the boss. You decide to come to your work at nine, nobody will ask you. And again, you can even uh, do it past the hours that you want to do, nobody. Because in my business, at times I even get out of the salon at around nine, especially when you have these peak seasons. So if it was somebody's work, it would challenge you because you're, it's like you, you're forced to do that. Mm -hmm. But because it's my work and it's my passion, mm -hmm. I even do that extension without even struggling. Mm -hmm. For the young people out there, mm -hmm. don't just uh, think of being employed. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you have that opportunity to be employed, what you can do, start a side hustle. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many people who have good jobs. Mm -hmm. And during this pandemic, uh, corona time, nobody knew that corona will once hit our the world. Mm -hmm. So many, many people lost their jobs. Mm -hmm. Assuming for me, I was that person, that one, I was just say, telling myself, if I was that one person at that particular period in time, mm -hmm. and I was fired, mm -hmm. where, would I, where, where would I go after there? Mm -hmm. But um, so we are saying like, don't do a, a business because you don't have an option. Mm -hmm. Do it with passion. Mm -hmm. And God will make sure that, God will reward you because you are doing it out of love. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, have it as a, as a side hustle, if, you're no, if, if you have a major hustle, so that in case anything happens, you have a fallback mm -hmm. plan. Otherwise, if we just assume that Maisha um, Nzuri, Fanya Kazi Mbaka Retirement, my friend, Auta Faulu. So for the young people outside there, Biashara Nzuri Sana. Na engage yourself, one day, utakuja kusema, somebody told me that, nikitu mzuri. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, when you are doing that business, mm -hmm. usifanye na uzito. And then learn the ropes of uh, talking to your customer. Because customer is always right. Yes. Accept uh, to be corrected. Mm -hmm. And those corrections will propel you to the next level. Mm -hmm. And again, if you have this business, mm -hmm. what you need to do is... Um, have people who are working uh, around you mm -hmm. to be your friends, mm -hmm. to be like your first people, because those are the people who will make you to grow. So I'm so grateful for the people who are working for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a, a, a Kinyozi man called Douglas, mm -hmm. and um, my the other lady who is assisting me called Lilia. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful for them because they, are, they have made me to be where I am. Because when I'm in school, I don't know what is happening in the salon. Yes. But at the end of the day, Utapataka, I'm so grateful for them. And to my new shop, the, the girls who are working for me, yeah. Wow, thank you very much. We really appreciate you availing yourself and talking to us and putting on all the great insight. We say thank you. I hope you may gain something. And from now on, you will look up to Madame Rachel and move forward. God bless you. Team, team.